so I think what budget has proposed is that uh, the long-term capital gains, which individuals, resident as well as non-residents, was to pay 20% on, on, on sale of immoral property, right. or transfer of immoral property. Right. That 20% has brought down to 12.5%. Right. So in a way, it's a welcome move. So as an individual consumer, maybe there are law, hundreds of families or millions of families in India uh, who would be holding real estate for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. They may probably sell one. They buy one real estate against them or two real estate, whether for family settlement or whatever it is. So what is to happen is my cost of indexation cost used to be very high. Okay. Now the benefit was that when I sell my residential flat and buy another residential flat, we get a set off. But my set off is to the extent of my cost. Okay. Now, if I get an index cost, then my cost base goes up so that my investment and in set off actually becomes easier for me to do it. Let's say I have purchased a unit at 100 rupees, say 20 years back. Okay. The index price today of that 100 rupees would have become, say, 250 rupees. Right. Right. Now, if I sell this for say 350, right. So when I do a capital gains on 100, which is 350 minus 250, on that I have to pay 20 percent. Correct. Right. Now, if I invest 250 rupees or 300 rupees in other residential unit, I can claim the entire capital gains as a set off under Section 54, right. selling one residential unit and buying another one. Right. Yeah. Now, what has changed is that when I do my capital gains, even though I was holding pro or, or real estate for say, 10, 15 years, my sale price is 350, I will not get an index cost of 250. My cost will become 100 only, original cost. So my gains is 250. So either I have to invest the full amount uh, of uh, another flat, or I pay 12.5% tax on the 250. So the way it normally would work is you would get an indexation basically to give you the cost of inflation uh, yeah. from the time you the property till now when you sold it. Yeah. Now what will happen is that your original cost of acquisition is say 100. That will remain 100. And whatever is your, let's say, sale price, say 1,000, that will be the sale consideration. And it will be 900 now, which will be the capital gain, which will be there, assuming that you've held the house for more than two years. And that will be taxed at a rate of 12.5% plus uh, surcharge and education says. Uh, that is the way this new regime will work. Earlier, what would happen is that the 100 rupees which you had paid for buying the flat, that would be a, get an indexation benefit, which would basically raise the value of 100 to say, let's say 300 or 400, uh, depending on the year in which you sold it. So right. therefore, you would get a benefit uh, of inflation for the cost of acquisition of your earlier house, which today you will not get if you do a sale today. It's a mixed bag. It all depends on you know when you bought the property and how much indexation one would get. Uh, ones who are you know buying it in the recent past and then selling it, this indexation should not really have much of an impact. The loss of indexation should not have much of an impact. Uh, so really, this would impact people who have bought property in a long time ago. I mean, a while back, uh, that could have a negative impact because they will they could potentially be end up paying a higher tax than what they're envisaged. But one would need to look you know case to case basis because there is a nearly eight eight percent reduction in the tax rate. Uh, so whether that would offset the indexation would depend on each case. For the developers, uh, again, you know, uh, th there is one interesting thing which the government has bought in where they have said is that rental housing. Right. And Vanda, this is an interesting, you know, subject is rental housing. We've been asking for rental housing uh, for a long time. This time they've just sort of opened up a little bit. You know, maybe they're testing it uh, and seeing how the performance of rental housing in industrial for the blue collared workers as a dormitory on a PPP mode right. works. Right. If this works well, then who knows, Vanna, that this may expand mm -hmm. on a public-private partnership to bring affordable housing on rental basis to larger cities, to urban areas, to like Mumbai. You know, why not do rental housing? Right. By the way, if you were to look at the US and major countries, rental housing is a large part of their consideration, they call it as multifamily homes. Right. Uh, so my, my thought is that apart from the boost that affordable housing has got on this budget is, I do feel is that this rental housing may be a you know start of a much bigger opportunity where developers may benefit over a period of time if the experience 
mm -hmm. of the industrial workers living in dormitory on rental housing in collaboration with the public-private partnership goes well.